All right, what's good, ladies and gents? It's been a minute, huh? Man, I've been so sidetracked with all my other little hobbies that I've had going on that I haven't even put on the, the motor on the new one. Freaking, oh yeah, we got an archery too. Got a couple more pews. Man, like I said, the distraction from these things has been real. Um, oh yeah, planes, lots of them. Oh yeah, crashed that one, oopsie. Uh, anyways, um, we're gonna try to do a few little installs on this sucker. Um, I did end up finally finding a uh, swing arm. <clears throat> Got this one from all the way from EBMX, um, Australia. They, uh, they had one on there that was brand new and then bought the thing. Turned out that they apparently didn't have it anymore. So they were like, dude, we got another one that uh, we took off one of our bikes and yeah, slightly used, but had the bearings. Looks straight, all the welds are solid. So what the heck, we'll give her a go. Um, there was like another place that I found it at, but it was like 500 bucks as compared to like Luna cycles. They had it somewhere in the 200 range. Ended up getting this one for even cheaper than that. I forget what I paid. Um, but yeah, it's finally here. So I figured this kind of sparked my little motivation to, you know, get to work on it a little bit and finding out what other parts I need. Um, did get those brackets. I think I mentioned in the last video that I was going to need those, but I ended up finding those. Um, so yeah, we'll probably be able to get uh, this sucker mounted up with those suckers, with this sucker. And see what else uh we can put on oh and like this guy this guy can go on pretty easy this guy goes underneath the seat um but yeah i can show you guys well might as well just get straight into it huh this one has this this has to be the bottom side so maybe like that it clips in oh like that there we go boom so there's another part installed huh how about that? Well, one step closer to finishing that sucker up. Oh, I should have put the little rear fender on there too. Just right there. I don't know if I want to even mount this yet. I haven't decided if I'm going to do that little tail light thing or not. And then I need to find all the little bolts and whatnot for it. But boom, sucker. Uh, let's get this sucker on there, which should be pretty easy. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, I think, is there anything that goes in there? Like a washer or some sort of plastic? Uh oh, I'm gonna need two hands, so I'm gonna get this thing on there. I have, I set aside the freaking nut and the bolt for it, so yeah, let's try to get this on there, figure it out. All right, so we got, we got a little bit of progress here going. Um, so yeah, I did slide this sucker in and look how much gap there is in this. I feel like there's like a little washer, Durlin sleeve or something that's going to have to go in there. Otherwise this bolt's just going to be rubbing up on the frame and cause like a little, a little cavity right there. So I'm going to have to check that out and then see if I've got to make something out of all the uh, little plastic ones I have. There's nothing that came in that little that complete surround bolt kit thing or whatever that I got so yeah we'll have to we'll have to figure out what we've got to do for that bad boy um and then same thing with this guy I don't know if I mentioned it last time for that guy but you can see you can see how much wobble room there is in that one and it's just sitting on the bearing um but yeah so we'll fig we'll have to figure out those things out so for now we're just kind of leaving them like so i'm gonna have to put the motor on the the other bike so when i go and take that bike apart i'll probably just loosen these guys up and look really quick and then figure out how to route the the loom like they did the factory i got a pretty good idea on how it went but you know just so it looks factory baby um i'm gonna have to unplug some of these wires anyways and get a a good portion of these things out of the way I think I don't know never done one um, so yeah we'll figure that out when 
we get to that portion it'll be perfect because then I'll go to mount the motor on this guy and that other one will be all exposed so I'll be able to go back and forth and check out what I got to do um, so yeah this is mounted on there not completely because I still have to figure out what bolts go on here but that shouldn't be hard just go up in there and you know pick one of these out see like this guy this guy probably goes here see so that guy would go there need another one of those for that bottom bolt um oh hello this guy can go up in here i'll probably end up falling off but that's okay uh what else did i do got this guy roughly mounted up in the controller <clears throat> um like i said just kind of on there so these brackets check these out for anybody that's uh following this along and needs to know the orientation of these and they don't have another bike uh so yeah you seeing that you got it so the little like welded nut goes on the inside and they go down at an angle uh yeah so that's how that goes and then obviously I left these all loosey-goosey obviously simple plug-in to the wiring harness we're gonna leave that there um, and then I did go ahead and oops this I I don't know if I'd started in the previous video I have to go back and watch it's been so long that I don't even know what's what but um, yeah we got the circuit breaker on there um, and then this little bracket that I ended up also finding by itself online will get mounted up here and then I just spent some time trying to go through all these freaking bolts because it's like half the battle finding out the right one and not trying to use up some of the other ones um, that are the same size bolt thread um, as some of the other ones and then you know using one that I could potentially need here which is what probably would have happened if I hadn't have done this because I ended up with just these two and these two fit perfectly in there um, and what I mean by that not just the, the thread size but also the length so that they're not sticking out too far out so I'm assuming these hopefully are just to that and I don't need any other ones like that but we do have a bunch of these um, so yeah gonna mount these two up put them in there and then I really don't know what else I'm gonna do. Um, I might start taking the other bike apart and then just um, uploading this portion of the video. I don't know, we'll see. All right, so I ended up finding all my little bolts for the controller. And then I was gonna start plugging this sucker in, but I was like, dude, I better double check because I'm not trying to plug in the wrong sides on either end. And so when I went to look on my bike over here, I noticed that <clears throat> these were flush whereas on my bike or spare bike it's not therefore well I mean now that one's kind of flush but the other one over there has only got one spring lock washer and so as you can see I ended up doubling up and the size that you would need is an M6 so yeah I just doubled up on those I mean you could I could always cut those down but this is a lot easier doubling up on those. There's so much thread in there that, I mean, clearly that it'll be all right. Some uh, Loctite, those spring lock washes, dude, you'd be golden. The only thing I need to check now is if there'll be enough clearance for the controller now that the bolt's sticking that much further out to sit on there. But I mean, it should. Oh yeah, look how much room you can see. Oh. I got a titanium one in there and a regular one in there. You guys probably can't see that very well. Um, but yeah, it'll have plenty of room. So that won't even matter. And those also aren't sitting completely flush either. It's like they didn't drill these all that great. I don't know if that's gonna show up all that clear on this backside, but you can see they're not sitting flush. But anyways, that should do it. And so yeah, and I'm just gonna double up on all these so that they're not protruding like they are and the battery won't come in contact. And then another thing I noticed too that I was gonna need is um, this piece for the, the battery so that it's not whacking back and forth. And then this back piece too, this plastic piece right there. 
so I'll need those those two. Worst comes to worst, you can always get like a piece of Durlin or something, some sort of washer and that's plastic and then just drill the two holes as long as it's, you know, measures the same height off this back plate and call it good. And then another thing I noticed too that I'm going to need is these guys right here. Um, this one on this other side, I was going to say I don't really need it, but it looks like the battery would be hitting up against this too. So I'll end up buying both of them because initially I thought, oh, this is just for, you know, the little uh, wire that's going back here, little wiring loom, keep it out of the way. But now that I'm looking at it uh, on both sides from this side too, the battery clearly would be whacking against those sides. So those uh, will be some things that I will also need. Um, what else did I do? I think that's it. Oh, uh, while looking at that thing and trying to figure out which wire goes where, uh, the little metal clips that we need. And then looks like I got the right size bolts. So that now, uh, I'll be able to put this sucker in between here and then obviously run the bolt through here. And that guy will be mounted. And then the only one that I need other than that top one would be these two right here that I have already kind of pre-installed. So that will go on there on easily now. So yeah, just uh, drilling away at all the other little things that I might need. So as far as that goes, um, I'm gonna, like I said, grab more of those, double up, put them in there, some blue Loctite, and we should be golden. And I could try it, aligning those. So you could get those aligned like here let me pull out two that way they're not sticking out too far out but you could try aligning these like so so that they can sit a little more flush and they kind of crush in the same way which is what I thought I did right there but it must have turned as I tightened it so yeah that way it doesn't go in all crooked. Just notice that might not be showing up all that great, but hopefully you guys can see that or know what I mean by me explaining it. All right. All right, guys, so I'm gonna call it after uh, this last piece right here. I forget what this is called. Maybe it's a voltage regulator. I don't know. So I got this mounted. Uh, used two of the little black screw style um, hardware that was in here so not to get it confused with you know with that but actual screw one because it's going into the plastic the bottom of the tray and there's the two little pieces right there with the little washer um, so yeah after that I figured out the sizes that I needed for the little Durlin washers for this um, I think it's for that I'll have to double check on those ones but for sure for this um, what else? And then I found this back plate right here, these inner pieces for the battery compartment. And then I did find this, I guess I could have just been pointing it out on this bike, but yeah, I found all these. Um, so I'm gonna get those ordered. And then the next thing that I'll be doing probably will be figuring out where these go. Um, I just don't want to take this apart right now. Because I did start taking this bike apart so that we can get that motor on there. So, yeah, that'll be a different video probably. But, anywho, um, yeah, that'll be it. And I'll see you guys when I get the next uh, pieces for this guy. In the meantime, I'll probably be busting out a video on how to install this guy. And I also, after I do that, I do have the domino grip that I want to change and put it on this guy. Or, not the grip, but the throttle. Um, so those will be two videos coming for that and then we'll be changing this guy up to the chain drive now that we're going to be having a little more, just a tiny bit more power to play with with that sucker. So yeah, that whole belt conversion, well not conversion on the sock one, but we'll be converting that one to chain and putting that um, belt on this bike. So yeah, fun stuff. Um, anyways, yeah, I'll see you guys on the next one.